Scoundrels, what is going on? Happy Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. Uh, first and foremost, check it up. Let's check them up. Coin check. Oh. Elite coin check. Standard coin check. PVC patch check. Oh, yeah, that's a new one. That's a good one right there. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, Velcro back and everything. Standard patch check. Ring check, shirt check, hat check, all the checks are out of the way. Today we are going to be reviewing, not only reviewing, but my first impressions on a bourbon I have never had, nor have I opened. So uh, let's get started. Today we will be reviewing Redemption Bourbon. Uh... First impressions, I strictly only bought this bourbon off of looks. I really liked the way it looked. I liked the way it looked like a big old glass flask. I liked the way uh, it has the mash build right on the label. And uh, it's probably because I've been playing too much Red Dead Redemption. And uh, I had to pick it up. So that's it. As you can see, I have not opened it. The seal is still on it, so we will uh, experience it together, and I will give you my first impressions of it. Okay? All right. So, let's open her. Oh, no. I knew this was going to happen. I can't open it. No. There we go. Hot damn. Surprisingly, I don't have a knife on me right now. <laughs> what the hell? All right makes you work for it, right? Um, the mash build, if you can't read it, is 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% malted barley. So it's a pretty good mash build. That's a lot of corn, and it's actually a uh, very, I, I mean, I would consider it uh, uh, a pretty good rye uh, percentage on there too. Uh, let's give her a try. Ready? Beautiful sound. Beautiful sound. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see here. That's a good one. That's a good little sample sample. The color. It's actually lighter than I thought. Uh, it looks darker in the bottle, and I don't know if that's from the volume. But let's get the uh, the glare of the patches out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a little on the lighter side, and there's nothing wrong with that. As I can tell, there's no... Um, it says bourbon whiskey aged no less than one year. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not... I, it doesn't really have an age statement. I'm guessing three to four years on it. Maybe. Let's give her a smell. Ooh. It's very light. Very light. Uh, there's a little bit of vanilla. Obviously, it's a bourbon, so you're going to have all the the obvious bourbon um, scents to it. They're very faint, though. They're not. They're not predominant in what you get in like a six year bourbon, right? So vanilla. I don't really get any caramel in it. What's really nice is the oak flavor that you get that hits in the back of your throat. It's definitely an oak flavor, and that's very forefront, which you don't get a lot in uh, some bourbons. It's always kind of lingering in the back, but this is uh, very, very uh, oaky forward, if you will. And um, there's a really nice, bright, citrusy note to this, which is really enjoyable and you don't get it a lot in uh bourbons i think the last bourbon i had that had like a nice bright citrusy note to it believe it or not was old crow so let's give her a taste all right cheers dink Hmm. 
It's confusing. Um, boy. So you definitely get some rye in there. There is a lot more spice than I thought there was going to be due to the color, which is kind of nice. Um, there's almost a hint of anise, if you will, or like a, I wouldn't say black licorice. Black licorice is too, too sweet. What are the, the little, um, yeah, almost, it's an anise flavor. If you would just take like star anise and smell it, it would cut right across the middle of your tongue. Uh, vanilla in there. Boy, that's... Now, mind you, this is the first time I've ever tried it. I haven't really wrote any notes on it. Um, the more you drink it, the more that anise comes out. The orange does come back in the finish. It kind of hits you right here. It's quite nice. Uh, the orange is definitely what uh, does it for me for this bourbon. Uh, small hints of caramel. If you like orange and oak and and uh, a mild mild rye flavor, this is for you. Uh, particularly mine, this is probably going to be the last bottle I ever buy. Uh, it, it's good. If somebody offered me it, I would drink it. I wouldn't pay 30 bucks. This is what I paid for it. I don't think it's a $30 bourbon. There's a lot other bourbons out there for 25 that are aged longer and, um, in my personal opinion, suit my palate. But if you like a lighter, lighter bourbon... If you uh, enjoy the orange citrusy back note to it, and you enjoy kind of a rye forward bourbon without it being a rye bourbon, uh, get you some of that. It's not bad at all. I don't want to downplay this bourbon at all. It's, it, it might not be for me. I'm sure as hell going to drink this. That's for sure. Uh, for $30? I'm not quite sure on it. But that's what it is. It finishes off nice. It coats the palate. And it's smooth. If you like a little spice on the back uh, the back of your palate there, you might want to get that. So uh, other than that, that's my review. Thank you guys. Uh, other than that, have a great night. Cheers.